Testing, testing, one, two, okay, we're live. Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. A little behind the scenes video here, as you can see, I have the HP G7 Fury ZenBook laptop with the G923 Logitech wheel here and the Pico Neo 3 Link. Today, very hot video, as we're gonna talk about the new Pico Neo 3 Link update, which is the 4.7.1.6. There are some things to talk about. First of all, guys, now this video, I'm testing basically the HP G7 because I actually want to get rid of my desktop with the RTX 2070 and the Hero Maximus 11 and i7-9700K chip and I want to know whether I can actually use the new HP G7 well it's not new now there's a G8 of course but on the market it could go fairly pretty good price and just get rid of my desktop altogether and go into a laptop VR from now onwards so you're gonna have to know during the weekend I will post a video testing the G923 Logitech wheel with all this gear and all this but let's come back to today's video guys Oh man, oh man, we need to talk about this. Do you remember last week when I did the update for the 4.7.1.5, I think it was, and I had notified you guys that everything inside of VR, when you're using the DP4K cable hooked up to the actual computer, or if you're streaming to Steam VR with your Pico Neo 3 link, that everything was okay, everything was back to normal, everything was proportionate, and everything was awesome inside of virtual reality, right? Right? Well, by the way guys, for those who don't know what the Pico Neo 3 Link is, it is basically a standalone VR headset. You do not need a PC, you do not need a cable, you don't need anything. You can power all the apps, all the games inside of the actual VR headset itself. It is brilliant, but for those who love the best of the best in terms of graphics in PC VR, then of course you can hook it up to your laptop or to your desktop wirelessly streaming to it, or you could use, of course, the DP 4K cable, which is this one here, which basically provides uncompressed 4K images directly from the PC into your headset, and it is mwah, beautiful. However, with the new update that occurred a few days ago, Unfortunately, it's gone back to the old days where everything inside of Steam VR is blown up again by about, I would say, 1.3x, 1.5x. Your hands definitely look a bit bigger, the controllers look bigger, and everything. It's a bit like being inside of a magnifying glass, basically, and things are just bigger inside compared to, for example, using the HP Reverb G2, which is a... It's a great shame, what can I tell you? It's just really annoying when you're inside of a game and the guns are just super big, or I mean, it's not super, super big, but it is still 1.3 or 1.5x, which basically means that the objects you're handling inside of virtual reality are not to scale with the real world. And that is kind of problematic, especially for those who have been in VR for a long, long time, will definitely notice this for sure. For those who are not in VR, who haven't done VR before, I think it's gonna be okay for you. It's not gonna be a big, you know, it's not gonna be a, a, a killer for you. But you know, I will definitely email again uh, Pico tonight to let them know because at the end of the day, this is definitely something quite annoying. Now guys, the other update that apparently has changed is they fixed the DP disconnection during the streaming to the PC. Now, personally speaking, I haven't had an issue with that. So for those who have had an issue with disconnection to the DP with the cable or streaming wirelessly, then I guess, you know, this is something you could put a comment in the link, you know, leave a comment in the box below. Let us know whether this is something that was very problematic to you in the past or whether it's something that's gone away now and you don't feel like you've had, you know, you have much of an issue with it. It would be great to know your opinion because for me, okay, in low light, it is very true that with low light, that means not this light that you see now, a little bit lower. There are some issues. It is true that the headset will lose its, it will disconnect from the control controllers, they won't really know where it is. Um, but with the cable itself, I haven't really had any issues, personally speaking, so do let us know in the comments below whether you had this issue or whether it's been fixed. Now, the other update that's occurred, apparently, is that they changed the German layout for the keyboard to Quartz or QWERTY. I'm not quite sure, is it Quartz with a Z at the end, or is it QWERTY with a Y at the end? Sorry, the, it's actually pretty, you know, I'm handling the, the camera, holding the phone, it's actually very light, but it gets pretty heavy after a while. So they 
did it change the life for, the, for our German friends? So German friends, leave a comment below. Let us know if this uh, layout changed to courts, whether it's any better for you or worse, or you know, it'd be great to get your comments. And then also the other uh, change that apparently has occurred is that they moved the DP refresh rate, refresh rate from VR to the PC version. Now, I'm not quite sure what that means because when I go to Steam VR now, you can go to the video settings and you can check the refresh rate there. Um, you know, my PC normally would say 90 hertz refresh rate, which basically means, excuse me, the higher the refresh rate, the higher the frame rate, the higher the, ref, the frame rate, it means the less ghosting, the less blurriness, the, the images will be crisper, the graphics will be crisper, you won't have so much color bleeding, you know, all these kind of things, and you'll be able to, to anticipate what's coming before someone else who has a lower refresh rate uh, in terms of the frame rates as they're being rendered inside of the VR headset. So a high refresh rate basically means smoother gameplay. Now, when I go inside a Steam VR, it still says 72 refresh rate when I have the, uh, the, the the 4K DP cable attached to the actual Pico Neo 3 link. So I'm not quite sure what it means there. Maybe I'll try to get some details from the developers at Pico ByteDance Inter uh, Pico Interactive from ByteDance because I'm really, really not sure what this specific update is all about as when I go into the video settings for SteamVR as I just mentioned just now, it still says 72 frames per second and not 90 hertz refresh rate so got no idea what it means there now there's also been an update with the controllers so when you do the update and do go to the previous video which was released last week about how to do the actual update itself it's very easy just go to the settings and click on the button there to you know go for the update it'll take it'll take a couple minutes and your perhaps your headset will restart as well so the controllers as I mentioned very good very good however inside of Steam VR it still feels like you're not holding the controllers at exactly the same place as the real world. It feels that, for example, you know, let's just say that this is VR, your controllers are here, but in the real world, you're holding them here. So there is a little bit of a disconnect there in terms of the placement of the hand in the real world and the placement of the hand in virtual reality, only by a fraction, only a little bit, but for me, because I spent hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of hours in VR, then I definitely notice it. For someone who's never been in VR before, perhaps it should be okay for you, but at the end of the day, it should be Perfect, that's what we need from these manufacturers. So Pico, if you're watching this video, please make sure that your proportions of all the 3D models inside of VR are, you know, to spec the same as the real world. We do not want an overblown wheel. You know, we need the wheel to be exactly the same size. We need the controls to be the same size, the guns to be the same size, everything to be the same size. I'm sure they'll fix this very soon and very sure of it. All right, guys, new video coming very soon, as I mentioned before, about me doing all the testing with the laptop, the G7 HP Fury. Can I get rid of the desktop? Mm, you're just gonna have to find out. Click on the notification bell after subscribe so you can get notified when that video comes when I release that video. And by the way, little update about HP. They did come back to me about the HP Reverb giveaway. So I will announce the winner very soon as to who's gonna win the HP Reverb D2, the Cyber Shoes of the Gaming Station, and also the 50 US dollars voucher that you can redeem against any VR title on the Meta Oculus Quest store, the Pico store, Viport, or Steam VR store. All right guys, I'll see you in another video very soon. Sorry I didn't record with my actual DSLR. It's over there at the moment because I'm, as you can see, doing in the behind the scenes with the HP, uh, HP G7 Fury and also the Pico Neo 3 Link as to how it all works, whether it works really well when streaming games, for example, the G923 Logitech of Automobilista 2. All right, guys, see you in another video very soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.